What's up? My name's Jacob. My name's also Jacob. Today I got a video from Tim Minchin. Tim Minchon. It's Mitsubishi Coke. This is a lesser known Tim Minchin production. You know, instead of three million, it's only got a couple hundred thousand. But I'm not gonna hold you too long, I'm gonna hop into it. I hope you're having a good day. I also hope you're having a good day. Problem with stockbrokers? Um, it's not. Is there any stockbrokers in the audience? I don't. I don't want to upset anyone. It's not. I don't have a problem with the job you do. I'm not even. Um, not even entirely sure what it is. But um, <laughs> my problem is a grammatical issue. Um, because broke is the past tense of break. So you, strictly, I don't. Know, I don't think you can have a broker. Like it should be breaker, probably stockbreaker. I. I don't call myself a singer. <laughs> A Sanger. They do say that in the American South. Conversation I had. And that boy Tammy right there, boy, that boy Sanger. Good Sanger. Eating right Sanger. Cool, huh? That's cool, Tim. It's called um, Mitsubishi Cult. I like the setup and the keys. I really do like the setup and the keys. It kind of like he starts it before he starts the poem to put you he where he needs to me. put you. Intensely, eyes sparkle, contact lens green with artificial envy. Cocks his head and fixes me with a condescending stare. Flicks his bleached blonde tipped hair and theorizes thus. Colored contact you know with blonde hair. Pause for effect. I think Tim is really good at what he just did, right? He uses the piano to put you there, to make you feel feel like you are exactly where he was especially when he tells these stories right i did the sam story thing where he was talking about this guy that came up to him after a show and started telling him about religion yeah sam. and he does the same thing there he uses the keys to kind of make you feel like you're having this conversation with this guy right he doesn't really have to paint too much imagery of the bar or like set the scene too much because he just uses the keys to make you feel the same emotions. It's it's genius. It's really genius. Bo Burnham does the same thing and I'm 100% sure that he took that from Tim Mitchell. All facts. Adjusts his All tackle facts. as if it's semi-erect. I figure I better give him what I know he expects. What do you reckon? <laughs> a hand on the shoulder, an avuncular wink. Sips his lemon drink, spits out the pips, hands on hips. Licks his lips like a wolf near a flock. Yet again adjusting this fantasy cock. He delivers his philosophy. I reckon it don't gross, matter. Bro. It don't mean squat, what you earn, or what you got, or the style of your hair, or what you wear. It matters not. I mean, what do you care that I That's live crazy. on a hill with views of the beach? That my chicks and my dogs have an ensuite bathroom each? That I've already reached my first 10 million, and I'm only 36. You don't stick his two bricks if you think you can fix what is broken in life. And the funny thing is, and I shit you not, I would give it all up like that. No, you wouldn't. He uses those crunchy chords really well too. He'll say a buzzword that like would make you feel frustrated if you're having a conversation with this guy that's talking about how he's got 10 million dollars. But like he'd give it all up in a second, right? You can't fix all your problems with money. And, and like you're sitting there and you probably don't have 10 million dollars and you're thinking about all the problems that you could fix with 10 million dollars oh. and you're getting like more and more frustrated as this gentleman's going along because his inability to understand social cues is really pissing you off and Tim paints this picture not by overemphasizing the words in the poem but with the piano right he'll play a crunchy chord anytime this guy says something stupid and it like you feel the way that you should feel if you were having a conversation with this guy because he played that chord. It was like the, the dissonance kind of is fact is reflective of the dissonance in the conversation. It's genius. It literally is just genius. The way he uses the piano is genius. It's genius. It is genius. 
I think he knows it's that he said it three times. He leaves me to ponder his wisdom for a bit, and with a click of his fingers, he beckons the blondest, bimboest barmaid, and grinning ridiculously, orders a G&T and a beer for me. And before I can escape, he's back saying, because, mate, the thing is, all that crap, it's all superficial. It's all just our front. I think I mean, choice anyone of words can be a rich cunt, but the thing we all want can't be bought with dosh. You know what I mean, boss? Because it's not like you give a toss that when I want to get slim, I've got my own private gym and a person trainer called he doesn't remember their name Danielle or fucking Darlene she's got tits like she's <laughs> in Playboy magazine but it's not like you care that I own a controlling share of an overseas company that builds accounting software it matters not one bit I mean who gives a shit if I earn 600 grand and drive a brand new Land Rover you know I'd hand it all over like that Bragging, dog. he's just being braggadocious Right, and this time it wasn't as dissonant, right? But it, you could feel it like kind of picking up tempo a little bit in that top hand when he kind of goes on the same kind of ramble that he just went on, right? He just said essentially the same just shit like that he said the right first now. time. He's not introducing any new ideas. And so at this point in the conversation, you would probably be feeling like, all right, bro, how can I get away from this guy, right? This is how you feel right now. Like, I'm gonna click off the video. You're kind of like zoning out of what he's saying and you're really just focused on your next move um, because you're uh, like it's obvious that this guy is just a clown this stockbroker dude is just he's just a loser and you're trying to get away and so you're no longer feeling tense about it it's just like you feel like rushed you're like let me get out of here I need to get out of here and he kind of paints that with the piano and it's literally genius it is genius but you didn't have to take four minutes. He pauses second. for a beat long enough for me to retreat to a seat and sit elbow on bar and contemplate this guru with his. He's trying to give him a chance. Then his big car and ponder silently it's my like belief that that genius or... comes in many forms and that this postulating is he really a peroxided porn star prick ain't one of them. My speculation cuts short as he reforms like Terminator 2. And before I have time to abort, he descends upon me and snorts. I guess what I'm trying to say in my opinion <laughs> is that I reckon That's a great and use artists the piano. and that, well, I reckon they're great. I know some people who reckon you guys just sit on your bums and don't get out of bed till the pizza man comes and smoke cones and take crack and whack off all day. But I don't care what they say. And I don't listen to people who say all actors are gay. Not that I don't think that's okay. He's getting more aggressive with his belief, like his philosophy or whatever. And he's like saying more offensive things that are directly offensive to the person that he's talking to. And right. And so the piano's picking up a little bit. It's, it's getting heavier. It's getting louder. It's getting more intense. And it's getting way more dissonant because he's in, he's pissing off the Tim, right? And Tim's painting this feeling of being pissed off with these crunchy chords and this aggressive piano playing. And it's literally genius. And if Tim wasn't as skilled as he is at the piano, it would be impossible for him That's to do true. that. That's like true. Bo Burnham can't do this the way that Tim does it. Bo Burnham just plays a chord and then he'll change the chord. Why do you but keep Tim talking about like Bo Burnham? Do you have a hard on for Bo Burnham? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, although it's not my bag, if you want to be a fag, be a fag, you know? I mean, who am I to say where you come and where you go in the privacy of your own homo? <laughs> homo! You know that guy that thought he was this one? You know that guy. And right here, it's like, he uses the piano and he kind of like drops the piano out. And that's the way that you would feel. You'd be sitting there like, like, I know this dude's thick. But he did he just say the stupid shit I thought he said? That's kind of how you would feel, you know? And like he he that's what the piano plays. I think that's crazy genius. Ah! <laughs> He's shitting me now. <laughs> and my eyes start to glaze and through the haze of my anger I notice his G and T is gone and he's starting to dribble as he dribbles on and fucking on. But you musos are alright, I don't know much about music, but I know what I like. His use of internal bombs and alliteration is fired. <laughs> or in monetary terms, but what you earn spiritually, what makes you what you are, just means so much more than what you'll get from a really nice car or a tennis court. See, I would have punched this guy or, this or a house on the beach or stock market shares or 31 pairs of Calvin Klein underwear. Do you understand? You are a wealthy 
the spray. It's getting more and more chaotic. Yeah, it is. And I'm not having you on. I reckon one day you could play piano as good as Elton John. Look, I'm not going to say the same shit this time. Thank you. Right. Thank you, you for not it. saying the same it's shit. Important. I just want to take a, just a second and like relish in that in that riff that he just played. Because an average piano player can't play that. A really good piano player can't play that. Like, Tim is literally a musical genius. Musically, he's That's a genius. Facts. Does he do anything that nobody's ever done before comedically? No. But musically, he's so talented that it takes his performance to a level that nobody else can reach. Mediocre comedian, excellent writer, genius musician. The cops are still mingling, though the crowd shuffled out. I've got ice on my hand where my fist met his mouth. <laughs> See, I felt that. And although I explained I felt that it that. wasn't my fault. An 800 buck fine for aggravated assault. Only 800 so bucks. Before it gets worse, I reckon I'll bolt. A wealthy, wealthy man in a 1981 Mitsubishi. I like how he uses like an Elton John style of music, an Elton John style of writing with this part, you know? Tim Minchin is a genius. He is a genius. Um, I did a video, the last video I did was George Carlin rapping, and um, you should go check that out. It just is not comparable. Like, I don't think that Tim's influenced by anybody. I, I try to look it up, honestly, if I'm being truthful, and I don't think there's any influence by that Tim has at all. I think that he's entirely just a genius. He's just a genius. He said that his True. brother was his only influence. His brother played guitar, and he wanted to be like his brother. And I, I think that, like... The difference between somebody that is one of the greatest to ever do what he does and somebody that's pretty good at what they do, you know, like they're successful in their field, is who you're influenced by and who you influence, right? Influencers and true geniuses are influenced by the world. They're influenced by life. They're influenced by their life specifically. They're not influenced by anybody, right? Picasso isn't looking at Michelangelo's paintings. He just paints. And I think that to say that Tim Minchin or George Carlin is taking notes from anybody else is false. It's false. They're both true geniuses, true artists, and there's not really a comparison that can be made. Um, but I'm going to quit rambling. As you should. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to see you next time. I hope that you have a great day. Peace out. I also hope you have a great day. Listen, if you sat through however long this video is and you're here at the end and you don't like the video, you're a whole bitch.